Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. For today's video, I recently went to a sort of antique flea market. I had been there a couple of times, but it was such a long time ago. And I remembered going and I'm like, you know what? Why don't I take you guys along with me? There's so many amazing and cool pieces. It just sort of brings me back to my childhood. A lot of pieces my grandmother had. I wanted to take you guys along with me. And I thought I also would do a little mini haul to show you some of the pieces I got. Some of them I got at that place. Some of them I sort of got a little bit here and there in different places but I still wanted to share them with you. But before we get into the whole video, I recently got some amazing bedding from a company called Brook Linen. I was definitely overdue for some sheets, a new duvet cover. So I recently got them and I wanted to share them with you. They're super sweet and are offering you $20 off any purchase over $100 using my discount code. So if you guys are interested, I will leave all their information down below for you. If you don't know about Brook Linen, they offer a wide range of stylish and luxury linens at an awesome price for the quality. I had mentioned previously that a mattress is super important. One third of our lives is sleeping. So I think not only is the mattress important, but I think that the sheets and the covers that you sleep in are just as important as the mattress it makes the world of a difference when you're like all snuggly in some cozy comfortable sheets you wake up refreshed re-energized and it just feels good sleeping in soft clean new sheets you can get the classic or the luxe bundles for between 200 to 250 depending on your size of your bed that is such a great price since other companies charge over 400 dollars and up for the same luxury sheets i personally received the luxe hardcore bundle which includes pillowcases a duvet cover and the sheets which i think is great it comes as a bundle and you end up saving 25 percent when you buy it all together instead of buying it into separate pieces the sheets have have 480 thread counts and a slightly luminous finish. They are made from cotton sateen, which is more tightly woven than the percale, which is making it more warmer and softer. To purchase, you can go online and then you can mix up up to 20 different colors, patterns. And I went with the all white. That's just what I'm drawn to. Usually I'll go either all white, cream, or even maybe a taupe color. I tend to like to use my throws, my pillows, and all the other things that go on the bed to change it up but I like to keep my sheets very simple. I've been sleeping on them for a few days now and I love them. They're super comfortable, super soft, such amazing quality for the price. And without further ado, we're going to jump right into this video. Enjoy!
So now moving on to the whole haul part, I'm going to start off with like I usually do, start off with the home decor first and then move into the clothing accessories. So I'm going to start off with my first piece. It is this amazing wood bowl and it comes with like sort of a spatula. I'm assuming that maybe it's like a salad bowl or something. When I saw it, it had so much character on it. It was such a beautiful piece. I thought it was unique. I think on a coffee table or even on a council table or even a dresser, I think it's so beautiful. You can fill it up. 
put some balls of some sort of garland. I'm gonna be using this for a project that I'm working on. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna get into it too much, but I'm working on a new project. You'll know all about it soon, but I'm super excited. So anyway, I bought it for a new project. I ended up paying it $25, which is a little bit more on the pricey side. There was something that was calling to me and I think I can use it in so many different ways that I had to get it. So that was my first piece. Moving on to my next piece. It's another piece that's probably gonna be a hit or miss. Someone might understand why I got it and other people might be like, what the heck? So I found this amazing stand and I think it's called an Ashanti. It's an Ashanti bench and I just fell in love with it. There was something drawing me to it. I think it would look beautiful on a shelf of some sort or even a council table or something. I just think it's beautiful alone on the shelf and you can add something on the top of it. I end up paying this $8, which is crazy. I just love the carvings in it. So I had to get it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm gonna definitely find a place for it. You can put it, like I say council table, but you can put it you know, on a dresser, like something like this. Now there's too much going on there, but you know what I mean, you put it there, just as an accent piece and I think it can look beautiful. A lot of my friends tell me that I tend to be drawn to like the ugly cool pieces but I think that every piece has something beautiful and I see the potential in it. Things that are handmade, things that are done with love, I just see the beauty. So someone might think it's not a nice piece but I just see beauty in everything. I love unique pieces in my home. Moving on to my next piece, I got this amazing mask. I end up putting this mask in the stairwell going down in the basement and I think it looks perfect there. It gives a good balance of uh, different ethnicities and different pieces that I've collected and I just thought it was so beautiful. If you look at all the details, I mean I've seen some masks but this one was really like a beautiful one. Some of them can actually look really creepy and scary and <laughs> those are the ones I kind of stay away from but this one had this sort of nice looking face and it it wasn't creepy. I end up paying it $6, which is so good for a mask. I mean, some people have a whole wall filled with masks and I think it's just so beautiful, like different masks from different countries. I just love that. But anyway, I got this one and I just mixed it in with the other wall art. I couldn't be happier. Moving on to my next piece. This is another hit or miss. You guys might not understand it, but I found this piece for $4.99. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like that. When I saw it, I thought there's potential to do either a thrift flip with it or I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is. It is this amazing, I think it's sort of like a little stand of some sort. You can put it on the top here, but what I fell in love with was the middle of the stand, this beautiful carved silhouette. I th it looks like you know the mom holding her child i'm thinking i might take this out and maybe put a wood top and then just use the base of it i'm not sure comment down below if you guys have an idea i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it but i thought it was just so beautiful and there's definitely something i can do and for 4.99 i mean you can't go wrong i love that it was in black i have a little bit of black accent pieces throughout my house and i just think it adds the perfect black accent touch I end up putting right now my Indonesian big bowl I did in my last haul and it looks so pretty um, but I'm not sure I might change it up a little bit I'm gonna play around and see when I feel it it's exactly the way I want it but anyway I couldn't be happier of this piece so for my last piece I think I saved the best for last this was actually not bought at the uh, antique store I ended up finding this on Facebook marketplace but I still wanted to share it with you because I had posted a post on Instagram of my DIY room and that I had changed up my DIY table and a lot of you were asking me where I got it so I ended up finding this amazing industrial table on Facebook marketplace it was a little bit on the pricey side I'm not gonna lie I mean it wasn't crazy but it was such a beautiful and unique piece and I wanted to change up that DIY table the round one was just not working for me I thought I would do something different with a round table but oh, I don't know it was something was bothering me so I wanted something a little bit more rustic and just a little bit more antique looking this was it it's the perfect piece it was from a company that did belts because it has this sort of like leather strap that's written something of belts it's a table that was used to make belts Anyway, I love it. I end up paying it $400. Was it 400 or 500? Anyway, 
four or five hundred dollars and i could not be happier i wanted something on the longer because i did get myself a sewing machine i actually got myself a sewing machine so long gone are the days of me sewing things reupholstering things by hand i learned how to sew at a very young age my grandmother had taught me she was a great sewer so i sort of got back into it and it's one of those things that you just don't forget how to do but what i needed was a longer table so i can have more room to do my diys and also sew as well so anyway i could not be happier of this piece it is insanely gorgeous so that was it for the home decor now we're going to move on to the clothing and the accessories that i got so i'm going to start off with my first piece and this was a piece that i didn't get in any thrift store this is a really special piece i got from a company called susari silk you guys have seen me wear some of their pieces in my previous videos it has this whole very bohemian gypsy vibe and i wanted to share this piece because i just recently got it and i am obsessed i love it so much it is this amazing upcycled sari coat and it has this like beautiful faux trim a faux trim it has this beautiful faux fur trim at uh, the collar all around it and also at the sleeves and just look at the fabric and all the colors so beautiful it has like little sequins as well amazing i love it inside it has velvet lining so it is just such a great either layering piece or you can wear it alone. If you live in like warmer climates, then you can definitely wear it alone. But if you're like me and it's like minus 20 outside, then it's one of those layering pieces. It's oversized. So that's the great part. You can throw a whole bunch of coats underneath and then that one, the last one, just to create a whole vibe to your outfit. It's an upcycled sari. So each one is one of a kind. I chose this one, but there's so many to choose from. There's some with embroidery, embellishments, sequins, beading. There's so many beautiful ones. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave all the information down below so you can go check her website out. Her pieces are to die for. I want them all. Moving on to my next piece. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw this in one of my Insta stories. I just recently received a beautiful gift in the mail. It is this amazing denim vest so beautiful it's upcycled and it is all hand beaded i mean look at the details so gorgeous it's for my gorgeous babe at mora art and i just love her pieces i've worn some of her big statement necklaces in my videos if you remember some of them it has tassels that's from her so her pieces are just exceptional the way that they're made it's just luxurious so boho you guys should definitely go check her out she has some really cool pieces i just wanted to share my latest piece that i got from her and it is just so cool i cannot wait to wear it i'm gonna move on to um a purse i end up finding this amazing backpack i mean it is in mint condition i don't even think the person wore it at all it's just so beautiful all of the details and each print mix on each part of the bag just makes it so special it has suede here at the back at the bottom and also on the handles i end up paying it ten dollars ten dollars for this i mean where do you find things like this only thrift shopping if you're not doing it i keep saying it go thrift shopping it's a game changer so anyway i am obsessed love it for my last piece you probably saw this in the clip i could not pass it up i was about to leave and then i saw it in this um sort of like glass case i guess you want to call it and it was this beautiful cuff it was so dirty and so i knew i can clean it up and stuff i ended up paying it five dollars it has like camels on it. It has the hemsa, the hand there, and this, this sort of detailing as well. It opens and closes with this little pin here. I cleaned it up and it just looks so beautiful. I always do that. Right when I'm about to leave, I end up finding something. I'm so happy I found this. Anyway, so that is pretty much it. That is everything that I end up getting. I hope you enjoyed this. Come uh, antique shopping with me and also my little haul. Let me know which piece is your favorite. And also, if you're interested in the Brooklyn and Sheets, all the links are down below. So go check them out. And just thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the best. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. Mwah.